This video features a high-end, limited edition collectible and is intended for adult collectors. Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. And Sang. And for the first time in a little while, uh, we are going to be reviewing an Integrity Toys doll. We took a little bit of a break from Integrity Toys on our channel. Uh, you know, obviously with the COPPA and FTC changes, we want to try to get a bunch of Playline content out of the way, but we are ready to dive right back into the world of Integrity Toys. Uh, we have some more coming after this one as well. But today we are going to be reviewing Ocean Drive Baroness Agnes Van Weiss. Uh, this is the Dressed Doll Mini gift set uh, of the Fashion Royalty Collection, and it is a W Club exclusive. So Ocean Drive Agnes costs $165 plus uh, shipping and handling. And it ships directly from Integrity Toys. Yes. Because per usual, um, you know, Agnes is generally always, you know, uh, W Club or convention exclusive. So this was the second W Club exclusive available for the W Club members uh, for 2019. And we had the opportunity to pre-order her back in July and she finally shipped January 2020. Yes. So it's been a bit. But we did get an opportunity to see her in person at the convention, as they usually do. They have all the announced dolls on display there at the convention. So it's a great opportunity if you would like to go to the convention, check out the dolls, you can do that. Jumping into this Agnes, this Agnes comes in a slightly larger box than we usually see, because she is part of a, like a gift set deal. So you get both um, the doll and two outfits, com two complete looks. So it's really cool. Um, this is the fashion royalty box. So we have seen this box before, but there are some slight differences. Um, last time we did one, uh, um, the box was white, but also has a bit of like rose gold on it. And this box does not. This one is a straightforward white box with a couple of wow. silver. Wow, yeah. right there and with some silver detailing. Yes, uh, the Secret Garden Eugenia Perrin Frost had a really similar box, but there's just yeah, some differences. We have her, but we didn't redo her. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so it's a very simple box, and the one thing I like that's different about this one is this is a magnet, so we, it's it just snaps closed. There's no strings or anything attached to it, so it's really nice. And then we open the doll up, and there she is. Ooh, I kind of like the compartment uh, situation in this, where it's, it's just huge. one big accessory compartment kind of towards the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, looks very nice in her little display box. So we, of course, are gonna go ahead and unbox Agnes and give you guys an up-close look at the doll and her two looks. All right, so here is Agnes out of box, and let's go ahead and talk about her screening and makeup. So one thing that's very unique about this Agnes, this is the first time that she is produced in the FR Black skin tone. So moving on to her makeup, she has very unique makeup. Um, we were admiring her. Um, so something that you don't see in the promo pictures. She has a bit of a, a bit of like a turquoise, kind of like a light greenish blue eyeshadow near the, the front center creases of her eyes and it fans out to a, a cat eye shape and there's a bit of a like a like a dark brownish purple eyeshadow and uh, for her lipstick she has some glittery kind of like mahogany, kind of like a dark brownish purple lipstick. And she does have some very red blush as well. For her hair, she has beautiful deep black hair um, that is pulled back just a bit. It's mainly just very long and wavy. It feels very soft to the touch. It's pulled back almost in a bump-like fashion, but she doesn't actually have a bump. It looks like her bangs are... Um, the front portion of her hair is tied up into a small little ponytail and the rest mm -hmm. of it is just loose in the back. Yeah. So moving on to her earrings, we had a bit of an issue. Um, her earrings fell apart when we were sticking it in. And I mean, obviously, it's like you think like high-end dolls like this it doesn't happen. It does. It's just it's all small little pieces, but the ring portion of this side came off and her earring fell off. So we would have to contact patient care to get a replacement. But um, you can see on this side, 
She has these really long gold coral reef shapes um, earrings. So it's really cute. It's very on theme with her dress and her outfit. Yeah, very pretty. I really love that pop of gold, but yeah, those tiny little ring pieces that we see very frequently in Integrity Toys jewelry, from my experience, have just been really fragile and problematic. I'm not really sure if there's an alternative to them in terms of like fastening pieces together, mm -hmm. but yeah. You yeah, have to be extra gentle. So, Agnes's bathing suit is a very lovely shade of lavender, and once again, very soft to the touch. Um, it's very oceanic and has a hand-drawn and custom print on it. There's little shapes of like uh, starfish and coral and seaweed, and it's a, it's a one-piece uh, swimming suit. Mm -hmm. so it's kind of cute. Yeah, I really mix feelings on this pattern, honestly. Um, it, it's interesting because when you touch it, it feels like a really nice high quality fabric, but especially when I was looking at the promo pictures of this doll, there's something cheap about the aesthetic of it, and I'm... It, I'm I mean, yeah. I honestly, I think it's just the print. I think, I mm -hmm. think when you print something on like that, I would... I don't know, when you print like... Add a texture like, to text it, maybe? No, I think it's just, it's... To me, it's the print isn't like the blacks and the colors aren't very vibrant. Yeah. Yeah, like if, for me, like if the blacks were actually really dark black, like it will stand out more. It looks a bit more like high end. Mm -hmm. But since it's so faded looking, it reminds me of like a playline like print. Yeah. But this is a recreation of a Versace um, swimsuit line that they did a little while ago. Mm -hmm. But it was a blue shade, and this one's lavender. Yeah, and around her bathing suit, she is wearing um, a cute lavender sunskirt uh, that it's a little bit sheer, so you can see through it a tiny bit. Um, very cute. I very like the I like the folds right here, mm -hmm. and it uh, it hooks up in the back. So if you want to remove it, there's a couple hooks that you unhook in the back. So let's go and move on to her accessories um, for her bracelet. She has a couple of. Um, little ocean theme uh, charms on it. There's little um, starfish as well as little coral pieces, pretty much seashells, you know, most kind of sea stuff. And what's really cute too, um, love the hand sculpt that she has. I really like the way the nails look on that particular sculpt. They're very sharp, you know, and very kind of almost like a sassy it's a, I think pose. it's a standard It's maybe the now. standard FR, yeah. yeah. But I think uh, it's really cute too because this Agnes has um, like a deep maroon nail color. Here we go. Let's just stick her ring on. All right. So she has a starfish ring. Very cute. So the first pair of shoes Agnes comes with that pair perfectly with her bathing suit are open-toed fabric heels. Um, and the straps on them are, you know, styled kind of like sandals. And uh, I really like how these look, um, you know, especially from afar. They have a nice lavender kind of sheen to them and they have a custom print on them just like her bathing suit. So she also come with uh, one final jewelry piece for this ensemble. She comes with a uh, gold ankle bracelet that has a, um, uh, a seashell charm on it. Very cute and as you can see she comes with a standard FR stand as well that is a tough glass-esque acrylic. Um, has a fashion royalty logo on the front and props the doll up at the crotch. So here is Agnes in her second outfit and it's a complete outfit so everything's different from different jewelry to different shoes and a different dress of course. So for Agnes's second look, um, she is wearing a beautiful gold cocktail dress um, and the shoulder straps are cute little gold chains and I like kind of the ruffles and texture on the dress itself, and we do have some sequin detailing um, on the back fabric. Um, I actually like the little split um, she has at her thigh. Um, it's very pretty, very elegant. Yeah, I mean, this is the kind of sequins that I like. They're kind of like the smaller, more like to scale sequins that you know mm -hmm. some of these toys have. Some of the larger sequences are like a little too large. Like, I really like how this dress, like you like saying, kind of commented on it when we first dressed her. Um, this is a very shapely dress for mm -hmm. Agnes. I think it really gives her a va-va-voom kind of 
body. Um, so yeah, I really like how it hugs her curves. Yeah, it's actually one of my favorite dresses they uh, I, I, I own, so mm -hmm. yeah, it, it, it complements her very well. Mm -hmm. um, so moving on to her accessories for her earrings, she has, uh, I want to say these are kind of like um, a miniature kind of like imitation, like Versace, like lion statue earrings. Um, they look like rams to me. For her necklace, she has some, she has another gold chain necklace, but this has a couple of like uh, gold circle paneling on them. It's kind of cute. And for her bracelet here, it is kind of like a, it's like a bangle. Yeah, it's a bangle, and also has that same kind of like shape, like like a ram design logo on it. So moving on to her shoes, she has some nice gold open toe shoes. Um, one of the things that I think is really cute and very stylish is, um, so there's these gold straps here, but they're lined with some kind of like, almost like um, jade colored um, straps here. So it actually adds a bit of color that's not incorporated into the rest of the dress, but I think it makes the shoes pop out. And they're very high heels very long and they zip up in the back. All right, so she does come with a couple more extra accessories. So here is her purple clutch. It's a nice kind of like lavender color with some purple straps in the front that has little um, studded um, gold pieces on it. And it is an actual purse that opens up. It has a little magnet, magnet right here. So one thing we forgot to mention during her um, swimsuit outfit, she does come with some kind of nice shades that's in the same color as her dress. But these are kind of like the standard Integrity Toys sunglasses that you've seen like a dozen times. So like most Integrity Toys, it does come with a second pair of hands. And these ones are a little different. They're same painted nails, but um, the nails are shorter. They're a bit more like the standard hands that they used to come with. All right, so here is her. COA. She's a quite large addition considering she is a W Club exclusive, but it looks like a lot of people ordered her. Um, so there is, in the wild, there is 1,635 of this beautiful Agnes, and the number I got is 1,635. <laughs> so I have, have the last one, y'all. The very last one. Crazy. <laughs> That would be perfect. <laughs> and she wasn't cut. Her earrings broke. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, her face is pretty. Yeah. And she's not walking. So. All right. So these are our final thoughts on Ocean Drive Agnes von Weiss. So I ended up passing on this Agnes. You know, Sang bought her. You know, like most Integrity Toys collectors, I love Agnes in general. But I don't know. This particular release initially, especially just looking at the promo pictures, it wasn't really speaking to me. In general, I'm not a huge fan of paying, you know, deluxe luxury prices for swimsuit dolls. Um, I tend to think it's just kind of overkill and you know, she's $165, which is a, approaching the higher-ish end of like standard integrity dolls. Um, you know, she is, however, a set, and I do have to say, I like this other cocktail dress look she comes with quite a bit. As we always say, it, you know, the doll makes more of an impression in person. I do think she's very lovely, and yeah, we don't get to see Agnes in darker skin tones very often, and she looks really nice in it. Another issue is this particular gold cocktail dress. Um, it's beautiful, but it's very similar to, um, the look we see on Sacred Lotus, um, Vanessa, Vanessa Perrin. Yeah, um, so... I, I mean, if, honestly, if you hold them next to each other, they, the dresses don't look like at all. But yeah, it's the same gold color, but... sequins, yeah. Yeah, but mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's different. Um, honestly, this is, like I said, like, this is probably one of my favorite dress dresses that they produced rec in recent years. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess it's, the detailing on it's really nice, and it looks like they took the time to create this look. Yeah, I mean, with the promo pictures, I think it doesn't really show some of like the detailing on the doll very well. I wish Integrity Toys would get a bit more creative with their promo pictures. Sometimes like the way they're, they're taken, like it's very like some of the saturation is off. So you really don't get to see like the right skin tone or some of like the finer details like in, in terms of her makeup. Cause I think her makeup is really pretty. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, because you don't see that shade of blue in the promo picture. Her face in particular, you appreciate a lot more in person. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the one thing I wish that they would change. Because, like, obviously, most of the time when you buy Integrity Toys, like, when they first come out, it's your, you're basing your purchase on the promo pictures because you don't get to see it all in person. You know, you're going off to like four or five pictures. But I think she's very pretty in person. Interior Toys does kind of like experiment with like different skin tones for certain characters, but it's very rare and in between. So I don't know when the next time Agnes will be in the skin tone. But I do have to agree with Max. I don't know how I feel about the swimsuit version or how that she comes with. It's definitely something that I don't see myself having any of my dolls wear, or I don't think it's particularly high quality as well. Um, but this dress kind of makes it for me. Yeah, I mean, at 60, $165, she is pretty pricey in terms of like if you only like one outfit out of the two. But if you do like both, she's definitely worth the price. I think she's a very stunning doll. Kind of going off real quick of one of Thanks points where like, yeah, you mentioned he's glad she's not wonky, but as we mentioned, one of her earrings did snap off, um, and you know, we were not manhandling it or anything like that at all. It literally just popped off, um, and a little frustrating because for whatever reason, um, Sang and I in recent weeks and months um, have actually been having quality control issues with a lot of our integrity toys. Um, you know, I mean, granted, I understand that there's new tariffs and manufacturing factory issues that they have had to overcome, and obviously that's not their fault, you know, within the past several months, but I don't know, I'm just hoping there's not a quality control issue that we continue to see on these dolls, because obviously they are very pricey and, you know, patient care is very responsive and helpful, but it is kind of a hassle to, like, mail these pieces internationally and stuff like that. Um, I actually recently um, sent in a head that had some iWonk and I was sent back a head that was like even Worse. wonkier mm -hmm. than the one I sent in. Um, so yeah, I'm just putting it out there. I hope we don't start seeing a pattern of quality control issues on Integrity Toys because that's definitely not something we want or expect from this like high end of a brand. Again, Integrity Toys is based in the United States. So you are, so if you're an international buyer, you're paying inflated shipping to your country. And then when it comes back to you and it's not pristine or perfect the way you want it to be, I can understand how frustrating it is. And like sometimes like I hear people saying like it's not even worth it. Like I'll just keep the wonky one. Yeah. So it just sucks because like obviously like you, you we buy something this high end and you expect a certain quality to it, you know? That being said, Agnes is very lovely. Definitely let us know what you guys think of her in the comments below. Um, and obviously there is plenty of Integrity Toys content on our channel, so if you want to check out any of our previous reviews, including our very in-depth coverage of the last Integrity Toys convention in Baltimore, Maryland, I will link our Integrity Toys playlist in the mm -hmm. description below. Oh, and by the way, something I didn't mention. Some people compared this uh, Agnes to Vamp Agnes which is um, another doll that we had reviewed in our channel. So if you want to make that comparison yourself, you check that out, our review, if you like. Thank you for joining us. Hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.